Hi, my name's Uzi Daniel. I'm the Operations Manager for West Basin Municipal Water District. Typical duties of an operation manager can really vary, and operations departments can have compliance as we do, um, distribution, treatment, so they can have engineering aspects, GIS aspects, uh, asset management. So there's a lot going on when you're operating these large water treatment plants. When you're moving 40, 50 million gallons of water a day and making sure that livelihoods and the economy are operating as they should, um, there's a lot of elements that have to be involved. Of course, operations has technical skills that are needed, but there are also the soft skills or the non-technical. You have to be able to let people know that they can trust you. That's a very important trait. When people are depending on you to serve water to their home, that they can bathe their children in it, let their babies drink it, it's important for us to be able to communicate that. That's where being good listeners and again, being invested in your community. I love that we have a collaborative team who gets together when there's a problem. I learn every day from someone at West Basin or in my industry, something new, and that's exciting. I know that there are a lot of associations that deal with wastewater, with rural water, drinking water. And some of the associations that I'm most fond of and work closely with are, for example, the American Water Works Association. They're the oldest and largest drinking water association in the United States, and they also reach into Mexico, Canada, and some other countries. And it's a beautiful, again, kind of collaboration with educators, artists, engineers, operators, um, all sorts of people coming together to serve that water. We need water. I'd love to t share a story with you of when I took a trip as a volunteer with Water for People. When I went to these countries who were not as fortunate as we are, the one thing that everybody agreed on was they needed water. Within West Basin, I was very fortunate. I came on board from another water company and started at a junior level position very interested, again, on the water quality side, ensuring that we were meeting compliance limits with our permits. And West Basin had a water quality department and made it their mission to make sure that we met all permit limits. So it was a great place to start. Within that, over time, I was able to promote up as supervisor of compliance and water quality. And then eventually, I was very fortunate to promote up to the operations manager when the opportunity arose. You can work your way up quite easily in the water industry because there is a great need. There are so many different levels. You do not have to be the college PhD, you can be a hard-working high school graduate, work your way up in this industry, a wonderful trade, a trade to be proud of, and that's where you can get your certifications. And they go up to five levels, so as hard as you want to work, and as much as you want to later study, you can accomplish that and work your way up in our industry in a trade, and I think that's a beautiful thing. I have to laugh when people ask me about how I got into my field. My degrees are in environmental science. Um, and when I was four years old, my father took me to the Fox Movie Theater in downtown Fullerton to see Bambi. And when I saw the fires destroying Bambi's home, I looked at my dad with tears in my eyes and said, I'm gonna make sure that nobody destroys Bambi's home. And as crazy as that sounds, by the time I got into high school, and realized there were school newspapers where you could write about anything you wanted, including plastics in the ocean. Take that now to college and there's something called environmental science, which allowed me to take a little bit and dabble in a little bit of everything. And so it's really a coincidence that my passion, we'll say, for animals is what drove me to my major, which led me to water. I would tell students who are interested in the water industry that they should get involved when they can, whether it's with their parents, whether it's with a friend or with their school, 
into groups, nonprofit groups, associations. I think that when you come into it with passion, that you will be that much ahead of the next person. I think if you're interested in water, you should also make sure to do some searches online. Just put in that water careers, water studies. Think about where your heart is. If you're a good artist, but you like water, maybe you Google that. What do you come up with? Just don't lose your passion and you can be involved in the water industry. If a high school graduate, what I would highly recommend, there are two routes. You could look at the website, as I mentioned, of AWWA, the American Water Works Association. There is a California, Nevada section. They can give you plenty of information on how to take some specific courses so that you can take a test. Your treatment one and your distribution one, you can do with limited studies as long as you pass a test. But it's a good idea to take a course so you can understand. And there is a requirement for an online or a correspondence course. Those same courses are available at a community college. There are a number of colleges in Southern California. You could look at community college water programs that offer an AA in water, water science, or they also offer a certificate. You can take one class, you can take all of them that will help you pass those tests and will give you for sure a way into a lot of the water companies.